These are the Outdoor Speakers 2-Pack. These things play music. They light up to look like torches. They work as a nightlight, all kinds of stuff. The company sent me this product for review, but everything I say in this video is gonna be my own opinion. And my own opinion is, I like Plotsmith stuff. I got one of their camping fans before, and I still use it to this day. So when it arrives, it looks just like this. And inside the box, everything is individually packaged in here. And inside this package, you get the two Bluetooth speakers. The user manual, which shows you how to hook it up, charge it, and do all of that, which I'll show you. Two different sets of stakes here. Two S-hooks, which actually come in very handy. Two USB to Type-C charging cables, because this is a rechargeable device. You recharge it right here. It takes about four hours to fully charge them. Now, I have not run them completely out of power yet, because I don't use them every single day. But so far, so good. The silicone connector in here is very tight, very well done. I like it. Let me just show you these stakes real quick. When they arrive, there's three separate pieces for stakes if you want to make them. Looking at it, about 25 inches totally all connected together. When you first get them, this piece is on top of the stake. This just pulls off of here. Then you can connect them all together if you want. They just slide on top of each other. Put this thing on top and on the bottom of the speaker, you can see there's a little threaded area here. So if you wanted to stake these in the ground, you could totally do that. Or you can hang them by the handle. If you've got something to hang them on or use this S-hook that they've provided here, these S-hooks. So the speakers themselves are made out of plastic. They're super lightweight. We've got a five watt speaker here, like a surround sound thing going on. As I said before, this is a three in one item. It's an outdoor Bluetooth speaker. It can be used as an LED nightlight or lantern. Plus it has this dancing flame thing going on that I'll show you with some outdoor video that I took. So it's IPX5 waterproof, so it can handle some water as long as you don't submerge it in water. And it has eight different lighting settings on the top. You can see the control panel here. We've got a power button, we've got a plus minus for the volume. We've got a pause play button right here. We've got a Bluetooth button right here, and we have a light button right here. And it's kind of interesting. I noticed that even with the power off on this, if I press the light button, the light goes on to the last setting that you're on. And if you press and hold it, it goes off. All right, you can pair these individually to two different things, or you can say you want to pair one to your tablet, one to your phone, whatever, or you can pair them both up together so that you can use two speakers together. So the way you do that is power them both up at the same time, press the Bluetooth button on one of them, just one, do your scan. There it is, SY126 Plus, and we are connected via audio to the SY126 Plus. There we go. You can connect these up to individual devices or you can connect the two speakers together. And if you do connect the two speakers together and you decide you only want to use one speaker, you're going to want to use the main one that you connected it up with first. You can even connect from a distance of about 33 feet. Now, I like to work in the yard and listen to podcasts or baseball games in the summer so I can set my tablet on the patio right here and take a speaker out to where I'm working. It has eight different light types of lights, which I'll show you on the screen over here. So you press the flame button and it comes on to the last setting you had it on. Right here, I had it on white light. It has this dancing flame thing. It goes into a blue teal type thing going on there. This one, that one. There's one in here that just rotates through all of them. It's kind of cool. Cool for ambiance, good atmosphere. Due to copyright restrictions, I can't really jam any music on here, but I would describe the sound as being more of a, like, you know, your personal space sound. If you're playing something as loud as you can get it, obviously it's going to depend on your device. You're not exactly going to blast the neighbors out, but it was loud enough to where I needed to turn it down in my personal space to hear what I wanted to hear and, you know, not have the people next door hear it. That's the best way I can describe the sound. Something like this would be great for inside or outside. You know, you could use them in the bedroom as a nightlight. You could put them on the patio, stake them into the ground, outside, by the pool, whatever. Camping, the beach, working out in the yard, all kinds of stuff. Very lightweight, very easy to hang or sit on something. Very nice.